Saturday, the Golden Hurricane went to one of the meccas of college football. It was Ohio Stadium as TU took on the Ohio State Buckeyes. Find out what happened next on the Philip Montgomery Show. Montgomery Show, brought to you by St. Francis Health System, by River Spirit Casino, by Pepsi. Now your host, Bruce Howard. Hello again, everybody, and we welcome you to the Philip Montgomery Show. I'm Bruce Howard, and here in Columbus, Ohio, on Saturday, it was quite a battle as the Golden Hurricane gave number nine Ohio State everything they could handle before succumbing by a final score of 41 to 20. In a moment, we'll talk about the lead up to the game and then, of course, first half highlights. That's next on the Philip Montgomery Show. American. This one's for every sports fan who just spent the entire game explaining to someone the entire game. You've compromised enough. Pepsi Zero Sugar. The mission of St. Francis Health System to extend the presence and healing ministry of Christ means not only being there for the health care needs of individuals, but also making a positive impact in the communities we serve. Offering support through thousands of jobs and through causes that unite us and promote health and wellness for all. We show our gratitude for the opportunity to serve by living our mission every day. St. Francis Health System. Healthcare for life. It's all fun and games and, of course, big wins when you play Carnival of Cash at River Spirit Casino Resort. Step right up and try your luck at a variety of cash prizes to win your share of $100,000. $25,000 every Saturday. Earn entries daily for two giveaways each week with one $10,000 and one $15,000 winner. So come on, come all. Join the fun and play Carnival of Cash only at River Spirit Casino Resort. Burgers, better with Pepsi. <sighs> the second all-time meeting between the University of Tulsa and Ohio State. The Golden Hurricane falling back in 2016 right here at Ohio Stadium. The final score was 48-3. The score a lot closer than, than that score would indicate. And we had a deluge. On Saturday, however, this time it was sunshine and beautiful temperatures, beautiful day for football and the hurricane taking on Ohio State. Let's get the lead up to the game, plus first half highlights, my broadcast partner Rick Corey and head coach Philip Montgomery. Gentlemen. All right, thanks, Bruce. Coach, coming in here, you knew Ohio State had lost to Oregon. You knew they had some things. There was a lot of talk up here this week defensively. Did it change anything in your preparations knowing what to get ready for? I don't know that it changed anything. It just gave us some questions, right? Are they going to stay with what they're doing? What kind of changes are we going to see? I think we all felt we were going to see something. Just what was that going to be? And we were going to have to be able to react to it once we saw it on the field. You know, they did some different things. I thought they were much more aggressive. A lot more line stunt box was really heavy. A lot more blitz packages in there. Uh, but I thought, I thought our guys did a nice job um, adjusting. Our coaches did a nice job adjusting. And then our players taking that on the field and then execute. And I thought we executed, for the most part, at a really good level. And we talked about a fast start. You guys were able to do a little bit of a fast start and get something going a little bit earlier on. That's got to be pleasing. Yeah, it really was. I thought that first drive, I mean, we, we mixed up some things, uh, kind of kept them off balance a little bit. Um, you know, got down in the red zone, would have liked to have gotten a touchdown. But at that point right there, I, you know, I think it was just better for us. Hey, let's get points. 
let's take the momentum that we got out of the first drive and start to build on that. Let's take a look at that first drive. Here's the first half highlights from Ohio Stadium, the Horseshoe, Tulsa, and Ohio State. Ready to go for TU is Zach Long. He raises his hand, the angled run up to the ball. He gets his right foot into it, and it's a line drive right down the center of the field, and it's taken by an up back at the 12-yard line, and he gets buried at the 23-yard line for OSU. Here's the snap, and Stroud turns, hands it off to Henderson off the right side. He had a pretty big hole, and he got knocked down just inside the numbers at the 31. So it'll be second down and one from the 33-yard line. And Henderson gets the carry. This time he gets hammered and dropped for no gain. Out of the shotgun, Stroud has the snap. Back to pass, now looks on a slant pass, and it's hit, tipped high in the air, incomplete. Intended on the slant for Wilson. Tyon Davis hit him in the right in the waist area and knocked him sideways. Back at the 20-yard line for TU. No score in the game. A little rolling punt to the right, high spinning kick. Fair catch called for and made by Benjamin at the 16-yard line. Third and nine. He has a low snap, handles it back to pass. Rush coming, he steps up, throws, and it's caught by Crawford. Right hash mark at the 28-yard line. Second down and 10 from the 28, back to pass. Bryn throws over the middle and is caught. This time Ethan Hall hangs onto it, complete at the 40-yard line. Line no score, back to pass Bryn. Bryn has time, steps up, dumps it off left side, caught by Prince, left side, 45-50, 45-yard line, and falls down. On third and nine from the 30. Here's the snap, back to pass, Brent has time, now throws, and it is a high juggling, wonderful catch at the 13-yard line by Juan Carlos Santana. What a play, the coverage there by Lathan Ransom. Left hash mark, snap is back, the ball is down, here's the kick, it's on the way, and it is good, and Tulsa gets on the board first with a long, it's Henderson in the backfield with him. On third down and three. Hand off again, off to the right side. This time it's not Henderson, but it's Teague. And Teague gets bottled up, hit and dropped. Wick was there. Jackson player was there. Elijah was there as well. A 43-yard field goal, angle right to left. Snap is high. He gets it down. Here's the kick on the way. Line drive shot, and it is good. Damn. Let's watch the blitz here. Two receivers right, two to the left. Here's the snap. Back to pass. Bryn has it. Throws right side. Naylor catches it around the corner at the 40, and he knocks a guy down at the 45, and he barges to the 47. Comes back in. Second and five for Tulsa. Bryn back to pass. Now looks over the middle, and it is caught. Right hash mark. Johnson, 35, down to the 30. 32. And here it comes. The placement down. Here's the kick on the way, and it is good for Ohio State. And a fake handoff rolling right and throwing the ball right side is Stroud, and it's caught by the tight end at the 50 and out of bounds. Rutgert to the 47. 48-yard line and from the Tulsa 48-yard line. Here's the snap, back to pass. Stroud, Stroud has time, throws right boundary. Nice lunging catch at the 35 by Wilson. Wilson and now in motion toward the formation. Olave, fake handoff, back to pass. Stroud rolling to the right. He throws short and it is caught by Smith and Jigba at the 20 and shoved out of bounds at about the 17-yard line. Bay. Single setback, Henderson. He gets the handoff up the middle and he scores as he dives into the end zone. Touchdown, Ohio State. He leads it 10 to 6 here. Here's the snap, and he turns, fakes the handoff, deep drop. Back to pass Stroud, loads of time, throws to the left side, high in the air, and it is intercepted by the Hurricane at the 25-yard line. It was juggled, and it was finally corralled by TU as coming up with it for the Golden Hurricane is Trayvon Fuller, his first interception for TU, and Tulsa will take over at their 25. Juggles with 51 seconds to go in the half. Snap is back, the ball is down, here's the kick. It's on the way and it is good. So that field goal with less than a minute remaining in the first half gave Ohio State a 13 to six lead over the Golden Hurricane. Second half highlights coming up next on the Philip Montgomery Show. America. This one's for every service fan who just spent the entire time explaining to someone the entire game. You've compromised enough. Is your sugar? 
The mission of St. Francis Health System to extend the presence and healing ministry of Christ means not only being there for the health care needs of individuals, but also making a positive impact in the communities units serve, offering support through thousands of jobs and through causes that unite us and promote health and wellness for all. We show our gratitude for the opportunity to serve by living our mission every day. St. Francis Health System. Healthcare for life. Burgers, better with Pepsi. Unlock the keys to luxury and start up a new adventure in a 2021 Volvo from River Spirit Casino Resort. Play and earn entries daily for your chance to win one of two Volvos to be given away in November. That's two luxury rides in two days, November 14th and the 28th. So come enjoy a little paradise. Grab your keys to luxury, then drive off in style with a 2021 Volvo. Only at River Spirit Casino Resort. At halftime, the Golden Hurricane trailing 13 to 6 to Ohio State. Let's get halftime adjustments and bring you to second half highlights. Here's my broadcast partner, Rick Corey, and head coach, Philip Montgomery. All right, coach, so at the half, man, it's been fought. It's been hard yeah. fought. You had, a, you had a lead. You were able to shut them down defensively. A couple of field goals when you wanted touchdowns. In the red zone, you were talking about trying to be better there. Yeah, you know, we got in a couple of different situations right there. And... Um, you know, they were very difficult to run the football against. And you get down in the red zone, you want to be able to generate that in your run game. Um, made some adjustments to that, I thought, in the second half. Made, made some good throws down there. Had opportunities to, to attack in those areas. Uh, felt good about that part of it. Obviously, would have liked to have taken advantage of it a little bit more in the first half. But it was still good to get the drives in, to get points, and continue to keep building. Because defensively, they did blitz more, they did cross more, they were bringing the outside tackles really hard. What kind of adjustments did they have? Well, for us, I mean, we were trying to find some ways to continue to generate in our run game because we knew we needed that in the second half. I thought uh, found some lanes in there, especially kind of late in the third, kind of throughout the fourth quarter. Uh, ball game's tight at that point, but, you know, we're still mixing it pretty well. You know, from the run to the pass, trying to be aggressive down the field. Felt like we had some opportunities there, but you know the biggest part is trying to stay ahead of the chains and, and you know convert on third down. We did a better job of that tonight. That's a heck of a second half. Let's get those highlights. Tulsa and Ohio State. Here's the snap. He turns. He hands it off on the right side and a big hole. Henderson, 45 to the 40, cuts back 35, 30, 15. He gets it to the 10. He's to the five. Lunges into the end zone. Touchdown. 48-yard touchdown run by Travion Henderson. And Ohio State now has a 19 to six lead. On Stroud, two receivers right, two to the left. Here's the snap, Stroud back to pass. Big rush on and he is corralled and sacked by Wick back at the 26 yard line. Nice job by Cullen Wick. Must have been a stunt, Rick, because yep. he came inside. So Lavi, Tulsa shows blitz and then backs off. Here's the snap, back to pass goes Stroud. Stroud gets hit, the ball is loose. It's a fumble and it is recovered by Tulsa. TU with a sack, and I think it was Kendaren Ray hit him, and then the ball is recovered by Anthony Goodlow near midfield. It'll be Tulsa ball with 2.36 remaining here in the third quarter, and TU still only trailing 20 to 6. And we'll update that in a moment. Here's a fake handoff rolling right, Bryn still rolling, rush coming, throws, and it's caught by Johnson at the 35 yard line, sliding down at the 35, and that's right. Well, the ball at the 21-yard line. Here's the snap. Bryn back to pass. Has time. Throws over the middle and wide open. Cannon Montgomery catches it at the 8. Into the end zone. Touchdown, Tulsa. Cannon Montgomery with his first touchdown catch in his career. It's 21 yards. And the Golden Hurricane has made it 20-12. to 12. Extra point upcoming. And down and 10 at their 48-yard line for Ohio State, and the handoff goes to uh, Henderson. Huge hole, 45 to the 40. Far boundary, 35, 30, 25, 20, 15, 10, 5. Touchdown, Ohio State. The left very close to the formation on second down and three for Tulsa at their 32. Back to pass, Bryn. Bryn throws left side, caught by Naylor. Breaks a tackle at the 50. Far boundary, 45, 40, 35, down to the 30-yard line. And big Ezra Naylor again 
making a play for the Golden Hurricane. First to the right on third and 12. Here's the snap. Bryn handles it. He steps up, rushes on. He throws to the near side in the end zone. Caught. Touchdown. Josh Johnson. 22-yard touchdown toss. Davis Bryn to Josh Johnson. And Tulsa's back to a one-score deficit. It's 27-19. And give credit to those guys up front because they did bring all six yards on the ground. He gets the handoff right side around the corner. Big, big hole. 40, 45, 50, 45, 40, and down out of bounds at the 35 of Tulsa. Now on first and 10 at the 34. Here's the snap, and the handoff goes to Henderson off the right side. And again, a big hole, 30, far boundary to the 25, and out of bounds, knocked out of bounds by Ray at about the 24, maybe the 23. They're going to mark work pistol. Stroud awaits, has the snap, fakes the handoff, and drops back to pass. Looks, throws, end zone, wide open, touchdown, Wilson. That's what I was really concerned about right there. That, that run game is so good right now. Your play action becomes so much more effective. Snap from Gadlin. Back to pass, Bryn. He steps up, rolling to the left, and pressure coming. Throws downfield. Intercepted. It is picked off at the 40-yard line, and that interception was made on the play by Martinez. Left side, 40, 30, 25, 20, 15, 10, 5. Touchdown, flag down. A flag down on the play after it was over or during the end of the play. Right arm of Davis Brin. Now they run the clock. Four, three seconds to go. Two, one, and that's your ball game. Tulsa did not know that they had not stopped the clock as Tulsa had a penalty. The snap. The so the ball clock game is fired. over. Game so is that's over. it. Final score, Ohio State 41, the University of Tulsa 20. As again... You have that situation where there's a flag down and a penalty. It's all up to the white hat whether he stops the clock and keeps the clock stopped at that point, but and it is all a moot point. Anyway, it's a 21-point victory for Ohio State. Final score, Ohio State 41, the University of Tulsa 20. What is true blue? It's true loyalty. Supporting others with unwavering commitment. It's true innovation. Thinking creatively and strategically to make a difference. It's true strength. Taking risks and standing up for what's right. True blue is a 125 year legacy. Find the true you at the University of Tulsa. The mission of St. Francis Health System to extend the presence and healing ministry of Christ means not only, not only there for the health care needs of individuals, but also making a positive impact in the communities we serve, offering support through thousands of jobs and through causes that unite us and promote health and wellness for all. We show our gratitude for the opportunity to serve by living our mission every day. St. Francis Health System. Healthcare for life. Unlock the keys to luxury and start up a new adventure in a 2021 Volvo from River Spirit Casino Resort. Play and earn entries daily for your chance to win one of two Volvos to be given away in November. That's two luxury rides in two days, November 14th and the 28th. So come enjoy a little paradise. Grab your keys to luxury, then drive off in style with a 2021 Volvo. Only at River Spirit Casino Resort. This one's for every sports fan who just spent the entire game explaining to someone the entire game. You've compromised enough. Pepsi Zero Sugar. Another rock and roll weekend. <laughs> Burgers, better with Pepsi. Hurricane Rewind, a look back at the miracle on 11th Street with Jerry O. Here's TU Hall of Famer, Jerry Ostrowski. 30 years ago this week, what many consider and myself consider the greatest game 
in the University of Tulsa football history took place here at Skelly Stadium uh, when we took on uh, Texas A&M. And um, if you remember this game, uh, we are down uh, 28 to 10 at halftime. Um, not many people thought this game was going to turn the way it was, uh, but it just so happened that a quick turnover in the second half uh, happened, and then all of a sudden, guys that were wearing blue and gold started to believe a little bit. Granger, pick off, Minter! 23, Aggie, second and goal. New quarterback, Matheson, and On that final drive, we knew we had to score to win. And uh, just you walk into a huddle, and uh, obviously TJ and the command that he respected in the huddle. Uh, he was a veteran, obviously played a long time. Um, you had our offensive line that was, I think, tougher than any that I've actually ever played upon. Um, a bunch of guys that believed. And uh, we just knew we had to go out there and make plays. And third down conversion, Brian Thompson might make the best catch of his career. Um, he extends it, and uh, we get to the point where Chris Penn runs a, runs a crossing route. Under three minutes. Atkinson looping on the rush. Caught by Penn. He's going to go. Uh, we score that touchdown, and we go for two. We missed the two-point conversion. But um, I think it was at that time we, we believed. We, we honestly believe we we're going to stop them and win this game. I just remember a story we were told. Coach Rader was on the sideline and this crowd and Penn is running down the sideline. He is going over and over again into the headset. Do we give him too much time? Do we give him too much time? Do we give him too much time? And he just kept saying it just over and over again. And obviously, at that point, I mean, we knew we were going to win this football game. We knew our defense was going to stop him. We knew we were going to somehow make this happen to where we were going to have the biggest upset of the day. And uh, before social media, before Twitter, before Instagram, I'll never forget, um, we were all in the dorm uh, getting ready to have probably the best night we were ever going to have as uh, college players acknowledging this win. And uh, on the bottom of the, the ticker on ESPN, it just going to, kept going across. Tulsa beats Texas A&M 35-34, 35-34, just over and over again. And um, just, uh, I'll never forget it. One of the best days I've ever had here. Hey, thanks a lot, Jerry. Of course, there are many people that remember that game 30 years ago. What an epic win it was for the Golden Hurricane over Texas A&M and helped propel TU to that 10-2 record. We'll be back with more on the Philip Montgomery Show in a moment. This one's for every sports fan who just spent the entire game explaining to someone the entire game. You've compromised enough. Pepsi Zero Sugar. What is true blue? It's true loyalty. Supporting others with unwavering commitment. It's true innovation. innovation. Think creatively and strategically to make a difference. It's true strength, taking risks and standing up for what's right. True Blue is a 120-year legacy. Find the true you at the University of Tulsa. The mission of St. Francis Health System to extend the presence and healing ministry of Christ means not only, not only there for the health of the needs of individuals, but also making a positive impact in the communities we deserve. Offering support through thousands of jobs and through causes that unite us and promote health and wellness for all. We show our gratitude for the opportunity to serve by living our mission every day. St. Francis Health System. Healthcare for life. Unlock the keys to luxury and start up a new adventure in a 2021 Volvo from River Spirit Casino Resort. And earn entries daily for your chance to win one of two Volvos to be given away in November. That's two luxury rides in two days, November 14th and the 28th. So come enjoy a little paradise. Grab your keys to luxury, then drive off in style with a 2021 Volvo. Only at River Spirit Casino Resort.
burgers. Better with Pepsi. All right, Coach, so the final, in my opinion, doesn't indicate no. the kind of football game it was. There were late turnovers and there's some other things happened. Your team had a chance, down seven, with the ball to drive. And right there, I don't think anybody in wearing and blue thought that there wasn't going to be a touchdown. Yeah, you know, I really felt like we were building right there. We had a lot of momentum. You know, and, and we'll go back and look at the tape. But, you know, we're trying to stay aggressive, knowing what the clock is, but also kind of working. You know, our biggest thing is let's go down, let's go get points right here, get a touchdown, and, and take advantage of that opportunity. Um, you know, a couple of things there late kind of got away from us, especially really, really late where, you know, we're staying aggressive. We right. came here to play 60 minutes. We're going to play every second of it. Our guys fought their tails off all day, and we're going we're gonna to finish it that way. It was the most, I'd say, clicky the offense needs to be. You get Davis Brin was better. You found Nezra out there who was great. You had a great catch from Juan Carlos. There are some things to build on going to Arkansas State, going into that game. I know you haven't had a lot of chance to see him yet. What do you want to improve on? Well, we, we still got – to be more efficient. We need to be better in the red zone, obviously. Um, we got to continue to find ways to run the football. We're pretty beat up right now, to be honest, after the last couple of games. You know, we finished up the game basically almost with our second O-line, and we got a lot of young receivers or, you know, guys that hadn't played a lot of snaps. I thought Ezra stepped up. I thought J.J. had a great game. I thought J.C. had a great game. The tight ends got involved a little bit here and there. Um, but we got to continue to build our running game and be a little bit more balanced. We threw it 54 times today. That doesn't happen very often. Yeah. And the important thing, you need a crowd at H.A. Chapman Stadium for Arkansas State, right? Yeah, we really do. I mean, these guys, they're, they're fighting their tails off. They're improving each and every week. Love to have you come out and support our young men. Uh, give us that home field advantage and give us an opportunity to, to prove to you how how much we love the University of Tulsa and the city of Tulsa. So right now, the, the focus, try to get to one and three against Arkansas State. We'll see you at HA Chapman. Hey, thanks, guys. Well, the Golden Hurricane returning home on Saturday as TU will take on Arkansas State at HA Chapman Stadium. For ticket information, 918-631-GO-TU or TulsaHurricane.com slash tickets. And we will see you Saturday at HA Chapman Stadium. For my broadcast partner, Rick Corey, and for head coach, Philip Montgomery, I'm Bruce Howard. So long for now. The Philip Montgomery Show has been brought to you by St. Francis Health System, by River Spirit Casino, and by Pepsi. Philip Montgomery Show has been a presentation of Golden Hurricane Sports Properties and a Kane Vision production.